What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm Barbas. Uh, first of all, uh, Happy New Year's to all of you. All you guys that have stood around. All you new subscribers. Um, another thing, I did trim my beard down. I'm going to regrow it. I want it to start fresh, 2019. It's a fresh year for me. Um, everything, the whole game plan just changed. So basically, I no longer stay at the other place with the garage. So with that being said, the plan changed. No carbon fiber, no fiberglass is going to be built right now. Um, what I am going to be doing is my motor. We're going to start building a Vitara motor. A Vitara build. A D16 Vitara. So basically, I'm going to take the motor out. It's too cold to be out here. The temperature dropped to like negative 50 something the other day in Chicago. So it's, it's, it's pretty cold still right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the motor out, my spare motor. I'm going to take it to the basement of this house. And we are going to disassemble and reassemble a Vitara. And the goal for this is going to be between 300 to 500 horsepower. It's just going to be a simple Vitara build. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys stick around for this setup and hopefully by spring we are dropping the motor into the car and by May, sometime in May, we hit the track. I really hope this, this happens. Um, I did move, like I said, um, I'm trying to purchase a house, I need my own garage, my own, my own house. So basically, therefore, I would be able to set it up the way that I want and have everything the way that I want in my own place without anybody saying anything. So YouTube did pay me and I'm about to uh, go to the store right now. I'm going to reinvest and I am going to purchase the brand new GoPro 7. So I'm basically upgrading from a 720p, which is what I'm recording on right now. And it's going to be on a 4K. So I hope, I hope, I really hope that you guys enjoy on this camera and the start of 2019 in this camera. So here it is. I just bought it. The GoPro Hero 7 Black. Very excited for this new camera video quality is going to change on this channel guys so it's been a few days after and the snow continues as you guys can see the car is completely covered in snow so I kind of wanted to take the motor out but I'm gonna have to wait and I did go to Harbor Fright and I bought some more stuff that I needed. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Let's head inside the house to the basement where the magic's going to happen. So I am down in the basement right now. And this is going to be the area where I'm going to be working on the D16 right here. I did buy this at Harbor Fright, an engine stand. It was about 44. 45 bucks. I need to assemble it, set it up right here. I also bought this light bar because there really isn't that much lighting down here. And I already set it up. It's up here. I'll show you guys. It's very bright. And hopefully, this light bar will help me. It's a four foot LED. Hanging shop light, 5,000 lumens. And I have all these tools over here. All these like bins that are like full of tools and stuff. I have to go through all that stuff. Pick out what I need. Pick out what I want. Pick out what I use basically. And what I don't, just throw it away. I have more stuff out in the shed. So that's going to be a pain to go through the snow 
and drag all that stuff in here and bring it in here. But I'm going to have to. Um, as you can see, these ceilings are pretty low. So every now and then, I'll hit my head on these pipes. But I'm going to go ahead and set that uh, engine stand up. And I will continue recording. Alright, so I got the engine stand all together now. And I'm going to go ahead, organize all my tools, set it up. And then after that, I'll go ahead and bring the motor into the house. And drag it to the basement so I can start this assembly of, of the D16. So today is the day after. And I noticed that my tools, I had some of my tools in the shed. I haven't opened this. But I got like a bin right here. And I got my toolbox. Jack stands. Some more jack stands on this side. And I noticed that there was somebody back here. And they took my jack stands, not my jacks, my, uh, my floor jacks, and also my bucket, my five gallon bucket of tools that I had back here. So that's where I had all my fucking shit, now it's fucking gone. Somebody fucking helped themselves to some bullshit of mine. Definitely see my pattern is way different than these patterns. My footprints that are back here. So now I have no fucking ratchets. Another thing is that my boss pissed me off and I quit my job. So now I don't have a job so I got more time to record so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get money I'm gonna have to find like a little side job or something for now Alright, so that took way longer than I expected to organize all those tools. I also noticed that my impact gun is missing. And I'm going to go ahead and call it a day for me. And tomorrow morning I will continue this video. I will continue recording. And we will pull the motor from the Civic and drag it downstairs to the basement. So I can start taking it apart. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds all right you guys so I've been thinking about this motor
that's in here. This is the motor, my spare motor. So I've been thinking, if I take this motor down to the basement, I remember I have a stripped head bolt. I'm gonna have to time start that. Another thing, I'm gonna have to send it, send the block to the machine shop, and have it uh, decked, and probably do some other stuff to it. So I don't know if I want to use that motor, or if I want to use the motor that's in the car right now. This motor. And if I use this motor, all I would do is just crack it open and drop the Vitara setup instead of messing around with that other motor. But in order to do this motor, I'm gonna have to take it out of the out of the car so I can take it to the basement. And it's freezing out here. It's literally like five or six degrees. I'm frozen right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this video here and you guys tell me below which motor should I uh, bring into the house so remember with that other motor that's in the car I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more money to get it fixed and right now without having a job it's gonna be a little bit hard I do have some funds and I want to fucking spend them correctly, the right way. So, you guys tell me. Maybe pulling out that motor might be my uh, my best option. Alright, you guys. Thank you all for sticking around and for watching my videos. I appreciate it. My next video is going to be a lot better. Remember, I have that new camera that I'm going to be using. Um, that GoPro 7. So, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, stay warm.